Alright you guys, so this is the Joker update. I actually triggered immediately an event with him, so we'll see if it does it this time. And uh, it's about 100 pages long, it's really really creepy and it gives a lot of background. So I'm just gonna like do this event on its own, and then I'll update later this week with another one. Thank fudge that it worked because I like played a little head on the uh, EMU to make sure that triggered the same one. Yeah, we're getting an event right now. He's like, do you hate your season? Isn't it fun for you? And Alice is like, eh? He asks almost like a grunt, aren't you satisfied with the season? Because you have a face saying it's difficult for you. And she's like, it's a grunt when he asks, aren't you satisfied? And then she's like, of course that's not the case for me being here. Like she's just visiting. And she tells him everything I need is here. She's like, nothing is missing and nothing is left unsatisfied for me. And she doesn't have anything else to say for a second. And then she tells him, I think sometimes it's too convenient. And I wonder if it's okay. She's like, to herself, why do you do this and visit this person? What's wrong with me? She's like, it's not someone who I can speak with deeply about things. He's a person that I don't know any more than anyone else. And I don't know much about him and I haven't had a long relationship with him. I didn't get to spend so much time with this person. And she's like, why do I do this? And then she thinks about it and she's like, spend time. She's like, do you need to spend the time? In a world full of time, this is a place full of time but no one finds meaning in it here. It's meaningless, there's no point. And I've heard it over and over again, that set of words from everyone. The mask cuts in, Joker's mask, and he's like, you've got no excuse. She's like, eh? Joker's mask tells her a couple contradictory things, and it was a combination between a couple translations. He's like, I don't think you can leave things like this out of your mind. You could, that's right, if you think that it's a bad thing. Then it's a bad thing to think about it, and it won't work out. So he's like, you shouldn't, but you seem to not be able to let go. And Alice is surprised. She, she actually says it here. She's like, I'm surprised. But the mask cuts back in, and he's like, I see. And she's like, what do you say? And trails off. She tells him, everyone doesn't say that to me. And she's thinking that they don't really get her usually when she tells them these things. She's like, I hear usually to herself, you don't have to worry. You can forget about it and don't remember. Because they all trick her. She's like, aloud, she's like, they say it's nothing special and it's boring. Like, let it go. The mask actually tells her, Joker's mask, you've been made a fool of. And Alice tells him, yeah, well that's awesome to know. She's like, they encouraged me to stay here and they were so impressed with me. I'm here for them. And then she concludes, that's right. That's how I forgave myself for staying here. She's like, they tell me you don't have to do anything. You don't have to change. You can leave it as it was, is what they say. 
And she's like, the only things that invite me to change are doors. And she's referencing the Clover game where we have several door events where they're calling to her about going home and like she meets her sister and her sister's like, you can't be forgiven or do you think you'll be forgiven? Um, this is all in reference to that second game, the one that this one follows. And she's like, that's why I may be attracted to the forest with the doors. It will tell me the truth with that door that I can't open. And she's like, if you open it, you can't be in this world anymore, question mark. And she concludes to herself that it may be so, that that may be the case. She's like, aloud, it may be that you will be moved from this world and will not be able to return. I don't know. And she tells him, I'm still worried. I know that I shouldn't watch it, the doors, but I can't take my eyes off it though. Like there's one specific door that calls the most to her and she's talking about that one. She's like, it's against the rules here to see the evidence of this. Dame, dame. Mija, dame yo. And then the creepy little performer kids show up and this little girl's like, it's no good. Don't look at it. The little girl's like, it's no good, I said, and it's no use looking at it. It's no use. Alice is like, wow. A child suddenly appeared before them, and I'm surprised. At a stretch, my consciousness is suddenly pulled back. And from this point of view, she seems to be like the circus children, maybe better. She tells her aloud, oh, sorry, I'll try not to see it. As if she's covering for her thoughts. And then she's like, oh, okay, I'm leaving now. And tries to smile it off to them. <laughs> and she's like getting no reply from the little girl <laughs> first. <laughs> Who's like really creepy. <laughs> The little girl's like Joker. She's, you're a bad girl, she tells him, like, as if she's like tattling. And she's like, she's a child who did something wrong? Question mark. The little girl. And Alice to herself is like, they all look out around at me. Normally this is rude, but they're a child, so I'm not angry. And the little performer girl's like, I don't think she's having fun to Joker. So this ties into Joker's job in Wonderland. And his role is both the performer to like smokescreen things and entertain. And then he's got a twin, which is basically himself split in two that runs the prison. And the prison Joker is the black Joker, which actually communicates through the mask. So Alice doesn't know this, but the little performers do because they're technically the broken toys or the faceless that broke the rules and we're no longer having fun playing the game. So Jake, uh, Joker takes them in and basically imprisons them or uses them as performers for his smoke screen. And so the little girl's referencing here that that's the reason why I did something bad, right? And that's why she can't enjoy it. So she's tattling. The little performer girl's like, don't do bad things or you, and she's referencing Joker, have to catch them. Now there's the other child speaking and they're like, yeah, Let's catch the bad girl. If you do bad things, you're a bad girl. And Alice freaks out because they grabbed her. Like she's freaking out. When I tried to go home, they grabbed my arm, she says here. And she's like, ow, after a pause. It's with a tremendous power. Power that does not seem like it comes from a child, she concludes. 
she's thinking to herself, however, because this one, they are a child, they may not be able to adjust their strength. And I couldn't make any complaints if that's the case then, so I should just bear it. The Joker's like, I think that she thinks though that she's done something wrong. And he's like, but I don't know. And I don't know if you've done that much, like enough to be punished. He concludes aloud. Tanoshi is fun, so like he's basically like, okay, he's telling her, I'm in charge of this, and to the children, the performer children, and then he's like, but I don't know about the details here, and I know you're not having fun, I want to make you have fun, is what he tells Alice. The little performer child's like, well, who's in charge if it's not a joker, joker? And Joker's mask speaks up, the black joker that's in charge of the prison. He's like, well, it's not me either. If I'm in charge of it, then I'll have been more energetic about it. Like, punishing her. <laughs> so the performer child's referencing two different jokers here. She's like, whew, the joker is kind, but the joker is scary. And she's referencing the black joker is scary and the joker that's like considered the white joker by Alice when she finds out to be kind, the performer one. But the other, well, but the performer child concludes, in short, I'm scared of both jokers aloud to them. And there's two children speaking. The other one's like, that's right, even a nice joker is a scary joker. And if you don't have control of this one, who's in charge? They're asking um, him about Alice. Here he's actually giving us information that I did not know. He's like, it's the White Rabbit. Part-time heart castle minister, Peter White. So he's saying that Peter White's in charge of punishing Alice. And I didn't know this. Alice is freaking out too. She's like, his name came out unexpectedly from the Joker. The performer child's like, wow, then you're a big shot. Is he in this world now? And asking Joker this. Here they're referencing Peter's reputation. Um, because the performer child's like almost malicious. I wonder if we can see each other. She's referencing Peter here. And she's like, there's no heart in Heart's White Rabbit, the rabbit of Castle Heart. Like he has no heart, he's heartless. And here the Joker is referencing Wonderland itself and how like April season kind of just like smoke screens everything and like combines everything in the one. Um, and he's like, you can be with anyone because we're spinning. He's referencing the Wonderland clock that they're all like part of the gears of. He tells them, I can always meet with him, and I can't always meet with him. It goes both ways. He's like, it goes all around. And the performer child's like, well, the point is, I don't know if I can meet with him or not. She's trying to get an answer out of Joker. The other performer child's like, exactly, I don't know if I can meet with him or not, but I wonder if I can meet this time around. Joker's 
Joker's like, meet with him about what? I can't punish her because I'm not in charge of it. And here he's referencing to the performer children that Alice isn't under his jurisdiction yet. So, and the Joker's mask, the black Joker from the prison, speaks up and he's like, well, after a long pause, I'm not in charge of her yet. Referencing the fact that in the future he would be. He tells her, the white Joker, the one that's the performer, if I can't punish you, then I'll have to entertain you. And the performer child's like, well, that's what the Joker does. The performer child tells Alice, you have to enjoy it, and I have to entertain you. At this, they've released their hands from Alice. You can see it in the CD. And she actually comments on it. She's like, they released their hands now. And then she concludes, the place where I was grabbed by them was feeling very hot. And then I started to feel pain there. The performer child's like, did it hurt? I'm sorry, question mark. And here they're like covering for themselves. I'm sorry, I'm not really a bad girl, she tells Alice. And Alice tells her, no, it's okay. Your grip is just strong. It's fine. But she's covering too. And she tells herself, it's not all right. I put up with it, but I was afraid that they'd break it, her arms. She's concluding to herself that the children are cute, but they've got a terrible grip. And she's like, I wonder if it's from a different way of being trained, like their training. If you're a circus kid, she concludes, you're a player under special training, and maybe she's losing control of hers temporarily, her strength. The performer child again says after a pause, sorry, and I'm not a bad person. The other one's a little more apologetic, and they're like, after a pause, I'm sorry, you're not a sinner yet. And they're talking about them not having jurisdiction over her yet, that she hasn't quite um, hit that level to be punished by the Joker and his team. Alice tells him, from now on, I'm not so bad, and I have no intention of doing it aloud. Like going to the doors, or looking at the doors, or for the truth. And she's like, as expected to herself, I became scared of them. She's like, of these children with dazzling eyes and stating stories of eerie things. And she's like a man dressed like a strange clown and with a mask on his waist. And after a pause, she tells herself, but I'm sure I'll be here again. She's like, I know it, I'll remember this feeling. And she's like, even though I was distressed, I feel relieved. I haven't lost my sense of incompatibility with this world after all. She's still speaking to herself about this. She's like, it's a sense of discomfort and an alienation that cannot be put into a set circle or a set feeling. Along with this feeling of loneliness, I'm headed for this, as if I was heading for the door that calls. And I came to peep behind the scenes at that which should not have been seen, she concludes. And the event ends, you guys. That was like 101 pages. And it was really important stuff. So we will go on ahead and save here. I'm so grateful this cold. Like, I am super, super grateful. All right, I don't know where I'm gonna save this at. Mm. Cause I don't know what these save spots are. <laughs> All right, we'll just do this one here. Yes. 
and it saves it at 8.28, 4.20, okay. And then we're gonna save here. There we go, just in case.